If you want to contest for presidency, you need the power to become a president. If you want to contest for, for governor, you need the power to become governor. And the worst thing that can happen to a man is that you are contesting with somebody who is stronger than you spiritually. Somebody who acquire power more than you for the position you are going for. If you contest with that person, the person will push you down. Because the person will be like a movie train that cannot be stopped. And you that does not have the power, you make all the noise, you may claim everywhere, you may go up, go down, you may drag many things and spend the money, but because you lack the power, you cannot get there. And I want to tell you that power is what makes a man whatever is going to be. Remember the man in the Bible called Samuel. Remember Samuel, remember Saul, remember David. Saul was already the king of Israel. But Samuel carried the power and the God told Samuel, go and use the power to anoint me somebody I want to put in position to be the leader of my people. And what happened, Samuel took the ivory or oil and moved straight to the house of Jesse and anointed the man that God said that is the man after his heart that will be the king of Israel. And the power they remember it was the power that David carried that made David to conquer Goliath. It was the same power that made the house of Saul to grow weaker. And it's the same power that made David to be exalted in the land of Israel in such a way that he has nowhere to hide again but other than to become the king of the people. That was how it happened. It was the power. And so what we all must look for in life is how do we receive power? You need to receive power. You need the power for everything that you want to do. You want to be a president, if you don't have the power, you cannot win. You will struggle, you will never win. You have a court case, you cannot win the court case. Except you have the power. What is the power? The power is the strength, the spiritual power to win the very court case. Anything at all, you need the power. The reason why God will always show us things and revelations is for us to know how far we can go in life. You can see somebody now, somebody will be saying, oh, I need a baby, I need a baby, I need a baby. You are praying for baby and all of a sudden revelation showed to you and you see yourself where you give birth to a bouncing baby boy. And then you begin to wonder, if I can give a baby, I give birth to a baby in the dream. Oh, why is it that physically I cannot give birth to a baby? It is because spiritually they are showing you that you need the power to carry that baby physically. The power can be knowledge. The power can be understanding. The power can be empowerment. The power can be what you don't know that you need to know. The power can be a declaration or an encounter you need with somebody. Because no matter what it is on the face of the earth that you are going through, somebody has the solution somewhere. No matter what it is that I've been facing in your life, somebody has the solution. A lady was, uh, uh, was crying and came to this church and said, man of God. I said, yes. He said, man of God, we are three ladies in my father's house and three of us, nobody's married. He said, look at me. I am, I, I, I am 40 something. Look at my sister. is 30 something. And look at the other one. He's almost 40. And I said, oh, the problem you are having is from your father's house. There's something down there called Nagano. Until that is destroyed, you people cannot go anywhere. And the sister said, man of God, I am ready for anything. And I gave her the prayer she would do. I tell her the ways of the prayer. The sister finished the prayer within a period of the month. That was month of October. She married. Her sister married. The one that followed her married. About three of them got married immediately. Another one stayed here in Ojo. They have their own problem. They were all abandoned. Nobody's married until the younger sister that was coming here now approached me on a counseling and said, look at what we are going through. I said, what you are going through is as a result of an altar in your father's house. But gather your sisters and gather them here. This is the type of prayer we are going to pray. And they were ready to meet up and we did the prayer. After the prayer, that same month she married. That same month, the younger, the one that seniored her, got married. And the top one got married. The remaining one. And that one that was remaining, she is the one that cost it herself. You see, when others are coming for the prayer, she was reluctant about it. She never paid interest. She never see it as anything. She was among the person. She was the one that said, oh, this prayer, prayer, we know the prayer sings. I want to let you know that there's nothing anybody is going through in life that does not have solution. And that is why I see some people are aspiring to go higher in life. They aspire, oh, I want to be president. I want to be governor. I want to be this. But they lack the true power that will carry them there. So when you lack the true power, you cannot get anywhere. 
it might be it might be something nearly nearly cannot kill a bird what will make that thing you are looking for to enter into your hand is the power to make it happen that is why jesus said stay in one accord until you receive power and he said when you receive power holy ghost is come upon you will receive power and again the bible said god gave the power power to make wealth power to succeed power to climb up power to become great power to make anything at all in life this power and that is why every child of god must always pray for the feeling of the holy spirit when the holy spirit fills you with power you will see yourself do the impossible you will see the impossibilities becoming possible with you you will see mountains falling you will see kingdom falling you will see many many things and where people look at there's no road you'll be seeing the road the road will be very stretched what looks impossible you will see it becoming possible with you because after power the next is money after power money but power pass money <laughs> power pass eh, money but after power is money <laughs> and God is power <laughs> amen that's why the Bible says money answer it all things money is not everything but it answer it what is all things is power Power is all things, and that is why God is power. That's why God is authority. That's why God is all powerful. After power, money comes. When money comes, money begins to answer what the power tells it to do. <laughs> this is why Jesus Christ, with the disciples, they were together, and the, the, the task collectors came to him and said, Master, your, 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 your followers don't pay tithes. And Jesus said, okay, you want us to pay? They say, yes. And Jesus said, Peter, come. And Peter came. He said, Peter, go to the water. The first fish you will see there, bring it out and open the mouth. You will see the money there. Go and change the money. Pay your task. I pay my own. I keep the change. Fish was already holding money, but nobody knew. Peter never knew. The disciples never knew. Nobody, even the tax collectors, if they had known that their fish in the water has money, they would just go and fish that fish and pack the money there but they don't know because they lack the power they lack the knowledge and the power is faith if you don't believe you can have it what you don't believe you cannot have it and so this is why it is important that as children of god we desire the holy spirit we desire the power of god we desire the authority in the word of god we desire the impartation the declaration the release the ordination the anointing the release of power of god in our lives because when we receive the power the release the anointing everything that we're looking for begins to happen but when we lack it we lack everything we get nowhere and we get nothing in life May the Lord help us to get what we are looking for in life in the name of Jesus. So wherever you are watching me, tonight is a night of power. Tonight is a night of visitation. Tonight is a night of spiritual encounter. Tonight is a night of authority that whatever the things you are looking for, God will make them happen in the name of Jesus. God will open the door and God will do a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of God shine in your life and shine in your family. Let the light of God shine on your way. You that have been praying to God, for marital settlement, I pray that the power for marital settlement will accompany you that have been praying to God for divine healing. I pray that the healing of the Lord God will touch you today, that you receive your healing in the name of Jesus. You that have been praying for connection, I pray that the connection of the Almighty God will look at you today and the connection you pray for will come to your life in the name of Jesus. You that have been praying, oh God, visit.